Excellencies, friends, I congratulate the women and men of the International Energy Agency on your 50th anniversary. And I want to recognize and thank Executive Director Fatih Birol. Under his strong and insightful leadership, the IEA has carved out a critical role at the heart of the renewables revolution. The work of the IEA is shaping public debate, supporting a just, sustainable energy transition, and showing how net zero can and must become a reality. Limiting global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius ultimately depends on putting an end to fossil fuels. And the IEA has shown the astonishing speed at which renewables prices are falling and renewables rollout is happening. Excellencies, friends, the work of the IEA is helping to demonstrate that the phase out of fossil fuels is both economically inevitable and are env environmentally essential. The end of the fossil fuel era is assured. The only questions are, will we move fast enough to limit the worst of climate chaos? And will the transition to renewables be fair, just, and equitable? It is up to all of us to ensure the answer to both these questions is yes. Every person on Earth must be connected to clean, affordable power by 2030, and every community and country must benefit from the transition to clean, cheap renewables. Today, too many emerging and developing economies are being left behind. We need G20 countries to lead a rapid phase out of fossil fuels. We need finance to flow, the to, to, flow to renewables, particularly by reforming the business models of multilateral development banks to leverage far more private finance at reasonable cost to developing countries. And we need all countries to implement the commitments made at COP28 to triple global renewables capacity and double energy efficiency by 2030, to accelerate the move away from fossil fuels this decade, and to create ambitious new economy-wide national climate plans aligned with 1.5 degree limit by 2025. Excellencies, friends, as we look ahead, the IEA's continued analysis, advice and coordination will be essential throughout this crucial decade and beyond. The next 18 months are vital and I invite the IEA to intensify technical support to countries preparing the next round of national climate action plans. Help them create ambitious, practical plans that are a magnet for private investment and urge them to back those plans up with credible climate policies from regulations that support investment to placing an effective price on carbon to putting an end to fossil fuel subsidies. Excellencies, friends, the clean energy future is coming. As we celebrate half a century of the International Energy Agency, let's commit to harnessing your spirit of cooperation to bring that future into being faster. Thank you.